creative expression and non a very good morning to our respected administrator sir principal officiating headmistress madam my dearest teachers parents and dear friends i kashvik hayya from class 5a welcome each of you for this grand online teachers day celebration i begin today's program with the blessings of our founder principal madam mr sheila chopra who was the best teacher principal and guide to all members of st francis a school we shall now have the garlanding of the portrait of dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan and also garlanding of the bust of our founder principal madam mrs sheela chopra we shall now have the tradition of lighting of the lamp In Saint Francis Xavier School, we begin every program with the prayer and seek the blessings of God. I now request a FIFA actor of Class Five A to please say the prayer. Join your hands and close your eyes. Giver of all wisdom and greatest of all teachers, look upon our teachers with love. Grant them the resolve to nurture our eager minds and to never give up on us who fall behind. Bless their hearts, for they rejoice when we succeed and encourage us when we fail. And bless them with gentle patience, for the path of learning is never easy. Kindle a spirit and passion in them; it is the flame that ignites the love of learning in us. Help, help them see the potential in each student. Their belief in us means much more than the grade we make. Instill in them a commitment to keep on learning. It shows us not to fear new knowledge and experiences. Inspire them to touch the future. They influence how big a dream we dream for ourselves. Bless our teachers who have come before. for their work in jewels to this day let the light of your example shine upon all teachers to build up with their words to love with their mind to share with their heart amen 
A good teacher is like a candle which comes itself to light the way for. We now have an opening speech on Dr. Selva Palli Radhakrishnan and teachers by Arjun Goshal of Class 7A. Good morning to administrators, sir, officiating principal, sir, headmistress, ma'am, teachers, and all of my dear friends. I am Arjun Goshal of Class 7A. going to give a speech on teachers day a teacher is a person who helps students to acquire knowledge competence or virtue teachers day is celebrated to honor the memory of india's first vice president dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan and commemorate the importance of teachers in our lives sarvapalli radhakrishnan was an indian academic professor philosopher and politician he also served as the second president of india from 1962 to 1967 he was born on 5th september 1888 he was famous for his philosophy and was a teacher in india and at oxford university in United Kingdom he was also renowned scholar and a recipient of Bharat Ratna award education according to him was acquiring of knowledge beyond what is academic and professional he felt that education a passport for the future for tomorrow belongs to the people who has prepare us for today my teachers have motivated me and helped me to gain success and on this auspicious day i am going to thank all of my primary to secondary teachers thank you administrator sir officiating principal sir head mistress ma'am and all of my respected teachers and at last i would say that i am very lucky to have such a wonderful teachers i would like to conclude my words with a famous quote guru brahma guru vishnu guru deva maheshwara guru shakshat para brahma tasmay sri guru ve namaha thank you Thank you, Orchishman Ghoshan of Class Seven A, for that wonderful speech. It was a very informative speech. Next, we have a PowerPoint presentation on Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan and the teachers of Saint Francis Xavier School. Let us all sit back and watch the wonderful PowerPoint presentation. students through this song is for those 
who inspire us today who always lend a helping hand to help show us the way this song is for those who see their students through the tough times in their lives for that we say thank you you have made a difference you have shaped our within my reach I hope I can change a life of love that I teach I can make a difference That was a wonderful PowerPoint presentation. Every program in St. Francis Xavier School is incomplete without a song. We now have a song by Riddhima Das of Class 4, and the song is Heal the World by Michael Jackson. Thank you. 
Wow, that was an excellent performance by Ridhima Das of Class 4. I hope the teachers are enjoying the program. My respected teachers, sit back because there is much more to come because it is your day and we want to entertain you to the fullest. Next, we have a dance performance by Classes 1 to 5.
Wow, it was a wonderful performance. As a sign of gratitude and respect, I will now recite a poem for teachers in Hindi. Gyan ki jod jalate shikshan. Nanhe kadam jab school mein rakhe, tab mile hume vaha aap. Kore kagas se hum se, un par likhna sikhate hain aap. Har par kuch naya sikha kar, har din khas banate aap. ही गलत और सच झूठ का सही अंतर समझाते आप जीवन के हर अंधे में दिए की लो जलाते आप बंद हो जाते जब जब सभी दरवाजे एक नया दिखाते आप धन साधन और बुद्धि ज्ञान का सही मतलब समझाते आप सिर्फ किताबी ज्ञान ही नहीं जीवन भी जीना सीखते आप देश के लिए कुछ कर सके हम एक ऐसा इंसान बनाते आप एक अच्छा इंसान बनाते आप आप सभी गुरुओं को मेरा शत शत प्रणाम अनदर स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास सेवन देवाचना दत्ता साइट पोयम इन इंग्लिश टू द पीपल्स ऑफ द हिंदू कॉलेज by henry louis vivian de rosio expanding like petals of young flowers i watch the gentle opening of your minds and the sweet loosening of the spell that binds your intellectual energies and powers that stretch like young birds in soft summer hours their wings to try their strength oh how the winds of circumstances and freshening april showers of early knowledge and unnumbered kinds of new perceptions shed their influence and how you worship truth's omnipotence what joins rings upon me when i see frame in the mirror of futurity weaving the chaplets you have yet to gain ah then i feel i feel i have not lived in vain i would like to conclude my poem by saying that god understood our thirst for knowledge and our need to be led by someone wiser he needed a heart of compassion of encouragement and patience someone who would accept the challenge regardless of the opposition someone who could see potential and believe in the best in the others so he made teachers happy teachers day to all my teachers No program is complete in St Francis Xavier School without a skit. Let us sit back and watch this hilly skit performed by classes 1 to 5 in school. In the year 2020 on 24th March, the honorable prime minister declared a complete lockdown throughout the country. Each and every family and household was affected. but even in this time the management of the school thought of the welfare of the students and parents took a brave step in conducting online classes which turned out to be a grand success in the near future in this small sketch we shall see how a teacher in spite of facing all the difficulties during pandemic did not move away from educating the students via online classes father and his daughter are there in the house worried that from tomorrow the town is starting the milkman fish seller and the newspaper man have said that they will not come from tomorrow in the year 2020 on 24 march the honorable prime minister declared a complete lockdown throughout the country each and every family and household was affected. 
but even in his time, the management of the school thought of the welfare of the students and parents. It took a great step in conducting online classes, which turned out to be a grand success in the near future. In this small step, we shall see how a teacher, in spite of his all the difficulties, will be fantastic. And not move away from educating the students via online classes. Father and his daughter are there in the house, work that from the morning, the doctor of staff, the milk man, fish seller, and the newspaper man have said that they will not come from the morning. Don't you think that was incredibly hilarious performance? I now humbly invite our principal officiating to please say a few words. Thank you, Kashfi. Uh, I'm so happy to see you. How you are conducting this program so nicely. God bless you. And I wish that you do it uh, for the future as well. Uh, Good morning, respected secretary and administrator, sir, dear headmistress, dear teachers, and dear students. Today we are celebrating the Teachers' Day, which actually falls on 5th of September. But you know, we have a special reason that we are doing it today. Today is 3rd, 
This has been done to ensure that our teachers will have a peaceful Sunday, coupled with the Teacher's Day. This gesture itself speaks a lot about the value of teachers in our eyes, and our management cares about their convenience and do everything possible to make their life comfortable. Our teachers have acquired this status by dint of their contribution towards the society and also due to their most important role where they shape up the lives of our future generation. Today, we have gathered on this day to pay our respect to the teachers who taught us and gave a meaning to our lives. All of us are blessed to have these angels who enlightened our lives with their knowledge and guided us whenever we needed the help. They burned themselves as candle, which gradually loses its existence in order to spread light everywhere. Now it is our turn to do our bit for them. And this day's celebration signifies our mark of respect for them. Teachers Day celebration, as you all know, was initiated at the behest of the request made by Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, who was our president and also a great scholar and teacher himself. His birthday on 5th of September is celebrated as Teachers Day all over India every year. Students all across the country observe this day to pay respect to their teachers. It is truly said that teachers are like backbone of our society. They play a great role in building up the characters of students and shape them up to make ideal citizens. History is full of examples of great teachers who inspired their students to become great achievers in life. In our country, we had Janakya, the great who was one of the greatest teachers India ever had. Janakya's life is a great example of a teacher who with his knowledge, wisdom and dedication was able to change the course of history. His fame reached beyond the borders of our country and is revered by the people across the world. You know, Janakya was a teacher who took up an oath to decimate the reign of evil Nanda dynasty. He had the ability to gauge the potential of Chandragupta, who had a very humble background, being a son of an ordinary servant. But Chanakya, with his skill like, like that of a magical touchstone, transformed Chandragupta into an emperor. Chanakya also kept on playing an important role as his chief advisor and ensured that the boundaries of modern empire reach still Afghanistan. The reason behind mentioning Chanakya is that I want to remind all the teachers about your power, your potential as to how strong you are. What amount of influence you have over the lives of your students. You can change the lives of the students and in turn change the society and the course of nation and world with the knowledge and wisdom. In the modern times, you need not to build empires, but you need to work with the common goal that is to educate each and every child by identifying his unique abilities, talents, and character. Not all the children are same. I also recall a story of a jungle school where there were a variety of animals made to study in a school with common curriculum, which includes running, swimming, flying, jumping, climbing trees, etc. So the sloth bear was to made to run, the rhino was to swim, fishes were to fly, elephants were to jump, and tigers had to climb the trees. As a result, all the animals and the jungle school headmaster were very much dissatisfied as none of the animals could score well in all the activities despite a lot of disciplinary measures adopted. This reminds me of the situation of the schools we had in the earlier times. But now, as we have realized that the mother nature has not made all the children equal and perfect physically and mentally, but one thing is common for all, their right to get education and their right to get proper upbringing. On this day, I would like to request all the teachers that they must remember what Chanakya did and also what happened in the jungle school. Teachers must always keep in mind that all the children are unique and they're endowed with different kinds of talents. Our education system is evolving very fast and our society and the government have realized the need of inclusive system of education as well, where the teachers need to cater to the unique learning requirement of all the students irrespective of their IQs and abilities. So the teachers need to realize their role of educating all the children 
with equal dedication and to ensure that all of them make progress steadily and collectively. No one should be left behind. That should be the motto. And a teacher cannot give up. During this dark pandemic time, when we saw that there was an imminent threat of complete halt in the teaching learning process, you teachers took up the role of the torch bearer and lit up the whole world. The difficult and stressful mechanism of online teaching was calmly mastered over by all the teachers and they ensured that the children do not suffer. No matter if the children could not go to school, you took the school to students. My dear teachers, your contribution has been appreciated in the past and I'm sure the entire world will remain indebted towards your contribution during this difficult time, where your entire day from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. or beyond, I know that, is involved in the teaching learning process. I salute you from the core of my heart. On behalf of the society, nation, we shall never forget what you have done to support our future generation. And before I sign out, I must tell you, dear teachers, that we know you are going through a very difficult time. You are stressed, under pressure, and at times you lose patience due to the unprecedented circumstances prevailing around you. For you, I would like to quote Rudyard Kipling. He is my favorite poet and author. As to what he advised, he said, don't quit, don't give up. Now, what he said, I'll just read for you, is for you from my side. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you are drudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest you must, but don't you quit. Life is square with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learn, and many a failures turn around when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the cloud of doubt. And you never call. Tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when you're hardest hit. It's when things seem worst that you must not quit. Must not quit. Thank you. God bless you all. Wish you all a very happy Teacher's Day. Over to you, Kashvi. Thank you, sir. I now take the pleasure of inviting our administrator, sir, to say a few words. A uh, very good morning to all the students uh, who are present in the program. And a special good morning to our dear teachers. Uh, for whom this is the most special day in the year. It's special because this is one occasion uh, of a day which we dedicate to recognize their uh, yeoman service, to dedicate to their achievements as a teacher, uh, a day to recall all the sacrifices and the hard work that they have put in during the whole academic year. And like they say that every day should be a parent's day, every day should be a teacher's, uh, should be a, a father's day, mother's day. Just like that, I feel that every day should be a teacher's day. Teachers are one of the most important characters in our life because they shape who we are. Our early years are spent in the guidance of a teacher. She's the one who teaches us values. She's the one who informs us about the world and possibly she's she holds a bigger place in our life than our parents because she is the one who teaches us how to behave with our parents also. So the role of a teacher can never be diminished. The role of a teacher can never be overstated. And whatever stature uh, the teachers in the school may achieve, they may become headmistress, they may become principals, vice principals, coordinators, they are firstly dedicated teachers. The year past has been very difficult. You all know that uh, since the one around 18 months, we are locked up in our houses and not able to come out. Crores of children have not received education. But 
St. Francis Xavier School, at least we can say that we have tried our best to ensure that the learning process continues. Uh, since the month of April, we are holding online classes. And, the, and students, you must understand that your teachers have taken enormous pain to learn these new methods. You know, children till today, uh, even in the B ed courses, that is the teachers training courses, they don't teach you how to use technology. They don't teach you how to use Zoom. They don't teach you how to use the online methods of correction, the online methods of evaluation. It is something which our teachers have learned on their own. Being locked up meant that we couldn't even have a training session for them. So they have watched YouTube videos. They have read up articles online just to ensure that they do a good performance, that they can deliver the goods when the classes start. So the role of the teacher has been quite enormous. Teachers continue to make sacrifices, not only in the duties as uh, uh, in, in, the, in the field of education, but teachers are used by the government authorities for many other purposes also. Uh, in UP, in Uttar Pradesh, recently elections were held and uh, the election machinery comprised mostly of teachers. And it is a very sad fact that almost 1,700 teachers, they lost their lives while performing the election duties in Uttar Pradesh. So teachers have a great role, uh, not only in the schooling system, but also in other facets of life because they are the most trusted, honest, and sincere lot. One message which I would like you to take away from today is that teachers have to be respected not only by the students, but the teachers also have to be respected by your parents. Many a times uh, our teachers, they have to call you up. Uh, I feel very bad when I hear that, uh, sir, the parent doesn't pick up the phone or the parent talks to us in a rude manner. That should not be the case. Whenever your teacher calls up, she deserves the full respect and Anybody in your family who is speaking to the teacher must speak to him or her in a very sincere manner, in a very respectful manner. We might get offended by our teachers, just like we get offended by our parents. But we cannot ever tolerate that a third person says anything bad to our parent. The same emotion should exist for the teacher. We might not like the teacher. We might, we might not be very comfortable with her. But that doesn't mean that you are going to get her disrespected by a third person. So students, you are young, you will understand what I'm trying to say. Always tell your parents that, uh, Mommy, Papa, please speak to my teacher in a very respectful manner so that, you know, she feels appreciated and she feels respected. Take this message and uh, spread it across uh, your family. Uh, most family uh, parents, uh, mothers and fathers, they're very respectful. They are very kind and they're very, uh, very nice when they speak to our teachers. But there are few who probably forget uh, the way to speak to the teachers, which really offends them and which really brings down their morale. Because ultimately, it is your progress which they want to discuss. So I want to end uh, by wishing all my wonderful, dedicated, sincere lot of teachers a very happy Teacher's Day. Uh, may you keep doing well in your progress lies the progress of the school. I also want to thank uh, my dear students who are in large numbers present. I can see almost 300 plus uh, participants on this uh, program. Uh, thank you so much for arranging these lovely skits, dances, programs. And I'm sure your teachers are enjoying every bit of it. Uh, may God bless you and may you keep doing well. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I now request Headmistress Madam to please give the vote of. Thank you, Kashvi. A very good morning to everyone present here today. On behalf of St. Francis Xavier School and the entire fraternity of the institution, I extend my most sincere gratitude to the Almighty God for making today's event 
a resounding success. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Deva Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat, Param Brahma, Tasmai Sri, Guru Venama. Guru or the teacher is the friend, philosopher and guide to all students and they are compared to even God. Teaching is the profession which teaches all the professionals. So all professions generate from teaching. I would like to initiate my vote of thanks today by thanking our founder principal madam as she was a great teacher who gave us all the opportunity to come together under the umbrella of St. Francis Xavier School. Thank you, madam. If not for you, this would not have been possible. I would like to thank our secretary and administrator, sir, for his support and initiative of celebrating the Online Teachers Day program. Thank you very much, sir. We are grateful to our principal officiating, Mr. Anil Srivastava, for his constant guidance and for sharing his thoughts on this occasion. My gratitude overflows for our COVID warriors, the teachers, who during this pandemic situation have relentlessly worked very hard to keep the wheels of learning running. Their dedication is highly appreciable. Thank you and happy Teacher's Day to all of you. Thank you students for say, staging such a wonderful program. You have made us all very proud. My speech will be incomplete if I don't thank my own teachers for whom I am holding this position today. It is only because of your guidance and nurturing that I am here in front of you all. Thanks to all the parents for their enormous cooperation and support. I thank all the office and support staff for their proactive, constant support. A very happy Teacher's Day to all my dearest teachers. God bless you all and may you always keep learning and teaching. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. We also have with us Madam Yanka Chopra. Thank you, ma'am, for joining the program. I now request all of you to kindly stand for the school song. Sat me vajayate, he's a motor all the way. Truth always triumph, so let's seek truth, whatever should come. Our school in Circuit Town is one Thank you everyone for being a part of this wonderful celebration. Have a good day. Thank you, Kashvi. Well done. God bless your team. Once again, wish you all a very happy Teacher's Day. Bye. A very good morning.
a very good morning to respected administrator sir principal sir headmistress ma'am teachers and my dear schoolmates let us remember the famous quote by malala yousafzai one book one pen one child and one teacher can change the world to begin let us follow our ritual and start today's event first let us have the lighting of the lamp ceremony followed by the garlanding ceremony next we would have the garlanding ceremony paying all our due respect to dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan the pivot behind teachers day celebration in india and also a heartfelt tribute to our late founder principal madam mrs sheila chopra who as a teacher has changed life of millions and her ideologies shall continue to change lives for generations to come let me take each and every one of you attending today through an instance of life a voyager travels all throughout their life beat any part of the year during their journey they often lose track of their path but they are not scared of such a thing why because since ancient times the north star has been guiding the lost and it is this north star that helps the lost voyager return back to their path once again a very good morning to everyone today we have gathered here to acknowledge the light of the world ray of hope in absolute darkness and the north star in a voyager's life are selfless and hard working teachers firstly i would love to thank all of my respected teachers on behalf of everyone for the lifeless sacrifices that you have made for us we owe the world to you so thank you very much for whatever you have done for us so far let us also not forget the great indian philosopher politician first vice president and second president of the country moreover an academic professor dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan when some of his students and friends insisted to celebrate his birthday after he became the president instead he told them that he would be extremely proud if 5th september was celebrated just not as his birthday but also a day to honor the hard working teachers all over the country since then 5th september has been celebrated as teachers day in india without any further ado let us dive into today's proceedings to begin i would request our respected principal sir to kindly tell a prayer and a speech thank you asmit a morning shows the day i'm very happy the way you have started and today is the day for our teachers to feel happy rejoice and we will express our gratitude by an array of programs today so to begin with i would request let us pray all together by joining our hands and closing our eyes lord bless the teachers who give their heart to teaching thank you for the special gift that you have given them and for giving them a spirit of grace and compassion may they have strength and endurance 
to perform their many tasks and may they know and feel the deep gratitude of those whom they teach amen so today is the day uh, to speak about our teachers who have dedicated their entire life towards the cause of education and uh, i would like to speak a few words about how i see the teachers and what i feel uh, that they can do and can be done for the students so a very good morning to our respected secretary and administrator sir and uh, also he is a very marvelous teacher although we hardly see him teaching but our school is lucky to have a teacher like mr ajay chopra and i have no hesitation to say that dear headmistress dear teachers and students today we are celebrating the teachers day which falls on 5th of september and that day being a sunday we have postponed the celebration for a special reason this has been done to ensure that our teachers will have a peaceful sunday coupled with teachers day so dear teachers that's the very first thing for you we have uh, not uh, planned to observe teachers day on 5th of september that is sunday it's a gift for, to you from our management especially uh, ajay sir has told us not to do that so that you can have a blissful sunday and that you deserve so this day gestures itself speaks a lot about the value of teachers in our eyes as we care about their convenience and do everything possible to make their life comfortable our teachers have acquired this status by dint of their contribution towards the society and also due to their most important role where they shape up the lives of our future generation today we have gathered on this day to pay our respect to the teachers who taught us and gave a meaning to our lives all of us are blessed to have these angels who enlightened our lives with their knowledge and guided us whenever we needed, needed the help they burned themselves as a candle which gradually loses its existence in order to spread light everywhere now it is our turn to do our bit for them and this day celebration signifies our mark of respect for them teachers day celebration as you all know was initiated at the behest of the request made by dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan who was our president and also a great scholar and teacher himself his birthday on 5th of september is celebrated as teachers day all over india every year students all across the country observe this day to pay respect to their teachers it is truly said that teachers are like backbone of our society they play a great role in building up the characters of students and shape them up to make ideal citizens our history is full of the examples of great teachers who inspired their students to become great achievers in life in our country we had chanakya the great who was one of the greatest teachers india ever had Chanakya's life is a great example of a teacher who, with his knowledge, wisdom, and dedication, was able to change the course of history. The dynasty. He had the ability to gauge the potential of Chandragupta Maurya, who had a very humble background, being a son of an ordinary servant. i hope i'm audible asmit acknowledge yes sir you are audible okay let's proceed uh, but chanakya with a skill like that of the magical touchstone transformed chandragupta into an emperor chanakya also kept on playing an important role as his chief advisor and ensured that the boundaries of the modern empire reaches to afghanistan the reason behind mentioning chanakya is that i want to remind all the teachers about your power your potential as to how strong you are what amount of influence you have over the lives of your students you can change the lives of the students and in turn change the society and the course of the nation and world with your knowledge and wisdom in the modern times you need not to build empire but all you need is to work with the common goal that is to educate 
each and every child by identifying his unique abilities, talents, and character. Not all the children are same. I also recall a story of a jungle school where there were variety of animals made to study in a school with common curriculum, which includes running, swimming, flying, jumping, climbing trees, etc. So there you see the curriculum is common and students have different kinds of ability, but they're asked to complete all the tasks with the same ability and efficiency. Now, accordingly, the sloth was made to run, the rhino was to swim, fishes were to fly, elephants were to jump, and tigers had to climb the trees in that school. Result, all the animals and the jungle school headmaster were perennially dissatisfied as none of the animals could score well in all the activities despite a lot of disciplinary measures adopted. Now, it's a matter of past, I would say. This was our time when we had to do everything what was in the curriculum and we had to score well in, well in all the aspects. But now the time has changed. It's no more that archaic thing. Now, all of us really realize that Mother Nature has not made all the children equal and perfect physically and mentally. But one thing is common for all, their right to get education and their right to get proper upbringing. On this day, I would like to request all the teachers that they must remember what Chanakya did. What he did was to identify the potentials and transform an ordinary child into something extraordinary that you can do. And also, you must keep in mind, all the children are unique. And they're endowed with different kind of talents. Like in a jungle school, a tiger cannot climb a tree. Fishes cannot fly, but fishes may swim. So you identify the swimmers. You point out those climbers and train them accordingly. That you can do. Our system of education is evolving very fast. And our society and the government have realized the need of the inclusive system of education. All of you must have gone through this module of inclusive system where government has tried to take and treat every child equally, irrespective of their qualities and talents. So the motto is no one should be left behind and a teacher cannot give up. Teachers have to work hard to take everybody together. Now, for you teachers, during this prevailing pandemic period, we have seen what you have done. There was an imminent threat and the darkness that the education process will be completely halted. But then you took up the role of the torch bearer and lit up the whole world with your efforts. The difficult and stressful mechanism of online teaching was calmly mastered over by the teachers and you have ensured that the children do not suffer. No matter if the children could not go to school, you took the school to the students. Thank you, teachers. My dear teachers, your contribution has been appreciated. We are watching it in the past, and I'm sure the entire world will remain indebted for your contribution during this difficult time, where your entire day from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. or beyond, I know that is happening, is involved in the teaching learning process. I salute you from the core of my heart on behalf of the society and the nation, which shall never forget what you have done to support our future generation. And before I sign out, I must tell you, dear teachers, that we know what you're going through. You are stressed, under pressure, and at times you lose patience due to the unprecedented circumstances prevailing around you. For you, I would like to quote my favorite poet and author, Rudyard Kipling, as to what he has advised. He has said, don't quit. Let me read a few lines for you. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you are drudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, you want to smile, but you have to sigh. 
when care is pressing you down a bit rest you must but don't you quit life is queer with its twists and turns as every one of us sometimes learn and many a failure turn about when he might have won had he stuck it out don't give up though the pace seems slow you may succeed with another blow success is failure turned inside out a silver tint of the cloud of doubt and you never can tell how close you are it may be near when it seems so far so stick to the fight when you are hardest hit it's when things seem worst that you must not quit must not quit thank you god bless you all wish you all a very happy teachers day over to you smith thank you so much sir indeed the teachers contribution it is notable and it is these contributions that doubles our respect for you so thank you principal sir for such a wonderful speech next we have a dance performance by sanjeevani shah of class 9 science a poem recitation by tamanna bandopadhyay of class 10 commerce and and voice over by d tanushri of class 12s1 in form of a presentation prepared by anubhav chakraborty of class 11s1 scholarships graduated in various courses with master's degree in philosophy and history and study not by choice but by chance we received many awards including the bharat ratna chief secretary and fellowship and also received templeton prize in 1975 for his death on 17th april a teacher is a candle who spends the whole life lighting up the lives of the students a late point of principal madam was shiva chopra was a very committed and dedicated person she was a leader in every sense of the word our secretary and administrator sir mr ajay chopra is a perfectionist and always thrives on the best for his staff and students our officiating principal sir mr anil shrivastava is a person with a positive mindset and would not give up until the task is completed successfully Our headmistress, Madam Mrs. Vipasha Das, takes care of her staff and students 
like we are her own family. Teaching is the one profession that creates all other professions. Teachers teach us new things and help us discover our passion. They believe in us, encourage us to reach our highest potential and convince us that we can do anything we set our mind to. Are the most responsible and important members of the society because professional efforts affect the fate of the world. They help foster love for reading, writing, and learning. They are lifelong students themselves. They are patient and they care. Heartfelt thank you to all the teachers who spend their time, energy, love to care, and educate us. Your hard work does go unnoticed. Happy teachers. Good morning to one and all present here. I am Tamanna Bandopadhyay of Class 10 Commerce and today I will be reciting a poem for our beloved teachers. Every day you greet your students with a smile upon your face, though paperwork the night before seemed like a grueling race. Money is not your motivation, it's the love for what you do. You hear that special calling to which you always will stay true. Your students are your dedication, devotion is to them. To you, each child's unique and special, a beautiful little gem. Some days are just demanding and frustration takes its course. Then you see those little faces, their inspiration is your force. Each day you are in your classroom reminds you why you're there, making differences in children's lives with whom your heart you share. There's a special pride in teachers and a love for what you do, and appreciations always shared between those little lives and you. Thank you and happy Teacher's Day. Thank you so much, Sanjeevani, Kamanna, Tanushree and Anubhav for that wonderful presentation. Now I would love to invite Swastika Ghosh of Class 11S1 to deliver a speech. who is indeed wise, does not bid you to enter the house of his wisdom, but rather leads you to the threshold of your mind. It's a very famous quote said by a very famous author, Khalil Gibran, who through this quote appreciated all the efforts of a teacher. A very good afternoon, respected administrator, sir, respected officiating principal, sir, respected headmistress, ma'am, teachers, and all of my dear friends. I am Swastika Ghosh from class 11 S1 and I am here to deliver a speech on Teacher's Day. The light of the world, the bacon in the dark and the hope that gives us strength to survive is our teacher. On this special occasion, I wish to convey my best wishes and greetings to all the teachers gathered here and all those who have helped us attain success in our academics. Teacher's Day is a day filled with lots of excitement, joy and happiness as students are eagerly looking forward to tell their teachers how and why are they so special to them. It is my honor to talk about our dear teachers on this wonderful occasion. Every year 5th of September we celebrate Teacher's Day which is marked by the birth anniversary of Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan which is celebrated in the commemoration of his birthday. Along with being a successful leader in the form of president of the country, Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan was a great scholar and an excellent teacher. Students across the country celebrate this day to pay respect and thank their teachers. Teachers are the real backbone of our society. They spearhead change by shaping and building students' personality and make them ideal citizens of the country. We all know it is impossible to define the word teacher as teachers are not only limited to teaching or guiding students in academics, but also helping students to take the right path. They add value to our character and make us ideal citizens of the country. In addition to it, teachers are our second parents. Teachers play a prominent role in influencing and inspiring us. 
Every student tries to imitate their teachers and consider them as a role model. After parents, teachers take the responsibility of molding a child's character at each and every step. Most importantly, teachers indulge themselves in online classes and their household course simultaneously with gusto to ensure that during the pandemic situation, education doesn't take a backseat in the lives of the people. They have worked hard day and night only for the well-being of the students. Therefore, it is our utmost duty to convey our wishes to teachers today in the recognition of their undismayed efforts. Let us take time to pay honor and admire all their contribution in elevating us. Thank you teachers for all your undeterred efforts and guidance. A very happy Teachers Day to all the teachers. Thank you. Thank you Swastika for that informative speech. Next we have D. Tanushi of class 12 S1 with a song named Permission to Dance by BTS. Good morning to one and all present here. I'm Deetha Shri of Class 12 S1 and I'm here today to sing a cheerful song on this occasion of Teacher's Day. It's the thought of being young when your heart's just like a drum Beating louder with the weight of God in When the thought seems like it's wrong Sing along to Alt John Do the feeling that you're starting to When the nights get cold and love to care and to educate us. Happy Teacher's Day. Thank you Tanushree for filling up the event with the one thing that was lacking, that is melody. Thank you so much.
Next, we have the students of class 9 and 11 with a skit named Chanakya, the teacher who made the difference. As our principal sir has already enlightened us, Chanakya, the preacher with princely thought processes, gave lessons to one of the greatest rulers of India, Chandragupta Maurya, who established the Mauryan Empire. Likewise, our teacher gives this blood, sweat and tears to educate us just like Chanakya, so that we can be successful in our life, just like Chandragupta. Watch the skit to understand better. Today, we are presenting a story of a great teacher, Chanakya. He is the greatest mentor of India and under his guidance, a commander and by birth, Chandragupta founded a great empire in India. Mauryan Empire was one of the largest empire in India. It extended up to Mysore in south and Kabul in the northwest. It stretched from Saurashtra in the west up to Bengal in the east. They speak about one currency, one law and one system. The ideal empire. Best example of the relationship between a teacher and a student. Their lives teach us how a teacher shape up an ordinary student into a great empire. First lesson, know your strength. You think of yourself a great wise person? I do not need such an ugly novel in my coat. I do not want your advice. One day, I will take the revenge against you, your pride. That is my promise. I will overthrow your empire by using my knowledge. Second lesson, get out of your comfort zone. Chandra, today you have to complete this task which will put you in an uncomfortable situation to make sure that you will not stop growing. Oh my lord, it is very hard. Am I able to do it? You have to perform it. Extraordinary challenges make an ordinary person a hero. Third lesson, knowledge is power. First attack on Emperor failed. Both were roaming in the village in disguise. They noticed a conversation between a mother and her son and got the great idea. This became their inspiration. Chandra, our decision to occupy Patliputra is not okay. We ignored all the bordering villagers. Let us occupy all the bordering villagers who are not happy with the Nandas. Chandra, start to rule over the villages and they also will support the Mauryans. Fourth lesson, follow your dharma. Chandra, do you know what is your dharma? Dharma means purpose. By following dharma, you change not only your life but also the lives of other people around you. My purpose is to stabilize economy and politics of the empire. I want to extend my empire and to develop trade. I want to improve the lives of all the people irrespective of caste, greed and religion. I was lucky to have a teacher like Chanakya who dedicated his uh, life towards teaching me and uh, training me. It was only because of his contribution I built up this great empire. I salute my teacher from the court, uh, core of my heart. Happy Teacher's Day! Thank you everyone for that wonderful skit. Next is the moment that we anticipate every time an event is conducted. Something that we are always eager of to hear. Moving on, I would love to invite our respected administrator, sir, to kindly deliver a speech. Very good morning to all the students uh, present on this platform today. And my heartiest and uh, uh, heartiest greetings to our teaching fraternity, our faculty, our most important and most valuable resource, uh, the most precious assets of the school, 
uh, that is our dear teachers uh, in whose name we are celebrating this day teachers day is always a red letter day in the calendar of the school i am really missing the wonderful and vibrant atmosphere we used to have in the school premises whenever teachers day would come up uh, i am missing the bunch of roses and flowers and bouquets uh, which my office would be filled with by the end of the day uh, the small gifts a little chocolate or a pen uh, which with which you just show your emotion and your love and affection for us online is good but the real thing is missing and uh, it really uh, it's a painful thing that we have to celebrate it in such uh, distance we are so close i can touch you on the screen but we are also very far that i cannot reach you at all so in these circumstances you know as uh, some great person must have said that when life gives you lemon you make lemonade so you have to accept the circumstances and you have to adjust and you have to carry on that is the true mantra of life the show must never stop and whenever you know i meet my friends uh, at a social gathering or somewhere they ask me so ajay is the school closed till i said no the school is open the building is closed so the school is very much open uh, learning is going on teaching is going on so many activities are going on we have uh, conducted uh, wonderful debates exclamations quizzes and students you have only one person to thank for all of this that person is not me that person is your teacher the teacher has really stood up to the occasion the teacher has enhanced her skills in such a small span of time and have ensured that you are not kept away from the knowledge that you are supposed to gain that you are not wasting your time at home not uh, you know whiling away not uh, investing in yourself and the teachers are ensuring that at least in some way or the other you are completely engrossed in your learning and teaching uh you know we don't see the other side you don't realize what happens in the lives of your teachers after the online classroom is shut off Uh, they are burdened with so much of work uh, i have a teacher who was telling me uh, just a few days back sir i have worked for so many years in this school more than 25 years but i have never worked so hard it has become very very difficult for the teachers to uh, impart education uh, doing online corrections doing online evaluations that it really has stretched their working hours but let me tell you students despite these odd circumstances uh and your teachers have never said sir it's not possible they have not ever told me sir this is not possible that is not possible or they have never said sir this decision we cannot carry out because now online it's very tough for us nobody has none of the teachers have ever come to me and said sir i am supposed to work so many hours but i am ending up working so many extra hours no they have fully dedicated themselves to your cause and therefore students sometimes i feel very bad i feel hurt uh when my teachers sometimes say that sir the, the student uh, misbehaved online or there were some abuses or something like that uh, happening some intruder coming in i feel even more bad uh when my teachers complain that some of the parents are speaking very rudely to them uh now students we must understand that the as one of you uh, rightly uh, said in the speech our teachers are our second parents we must give them enough respect we must give them uh we must show our gratitude towards them at all times just like we have some complaints about our teachers we also sometimes have complaints about our parents we are not very happy with whatever they do how they uh, treat us sometimes we feel that 
they gave us a bad deal or they treated us unfairly but we never allow a third person to disrespect our parents i hope you know that i hope you realize that same way you should object if anybody speaks rudely or in a disrespectful manner to your uh, teachers and you must stop them and you must correct them and say that whatever has to be done whatever has to be said must be spoken in a very respectful and a very honorable manner this reminds me of uh, an incident uh, where your founder principal who happened to be a very strict mother of mine uh, and whenever i used to uh, she used to come for the parent teachers meeting the first thing she used to tell the teacher is that uh, ma'am he is my son later he is your student first and your son first this is the amount of trust uh, that my mother used to have on the faculty and uh, you know if we ever got a scolding at in school uh, and those days we used to get a couple of smacks on the face also sometimes uh, those were different days sometimes the ruler used to be used and when we went back we never complained to our parents because you know it would be followed up by two more two more slaps because the parent would say what mischief did you do in the school that you had your teacher had to smack you that is the amount of uh, trust and faith which the teachers used to enjoy at those times now times are very different now if anything happens the teacher loses control loses her temper immediately there is a complaint at home and your parents come rushing to the school faces red with anger and saying how this happened how that happened so slowly but surely the respect and the gratitude that we hold towards our teachers it's declining but i want the things to be different in our school always pay a lot of respect to them appreciate their guidance appreciate the hard work that they put for your well being and you know in our school we have so many parents uh whose children are first generation learners the parents themselves have never gone to a never got a great education they never went to a good school uh so they are not able to support the uh teachings that we are doing in the school whatever we make them learn in the school sometimes gets unlearned at home despite these circumstances our teachers are doing a very good job you see our output in class 11 and 12 our students are turning out to be very smart well spoken and this is all due to the hard work of the teachers of course the parents have a role to play but the hard work of the teachers is very much there and it leaves an imprint on your life you were talking about the uh, lessons uh, the that our founder principal taught us i want to relate another incident not an incident it's an experience or you can say a philosophy uh, we used to have a we still have a small uh, mandir at home and in that mandir in that uh, place where we place the gods uh, your founder principal my mother she used to place gods of all religions so there used to be the ganesh and there used to be the shiv and there used to be kali and durga but there you also used to be haji ali's photograph there also used to be a statue of jesus christ there also used to be a picture of guru nanak what a wonderful thing i didn't realize it then but today when the atmosphere is very very different i really appreciate the values that uh, my mother and the founder principal of the school uh, she gave us to have respect for every religion to have respect for every community to have a secular outlook and not to be prejudiced against any caste creed race or religion it's a wonderful thing and uh, i truly uh, you know it shows the greatness of your founder principal what kind of a mindset uh, she used to have and what kind of a uh, emotions she used to have for her fellow citizens in conclusion because mr shivasthav has spoken so well and he has explained the significance of the teachers day and he has explained uh, so many things which you should preserve as pearls of wisdom 
uh, i don't want to take much of your time but uh, make every day a teachers day it should not be a one day thing and it should not be a one day affair when you show your gratitude or you express your thanks to the teachers make it a daily habit uh, uh, have respect for your teachers and you will see your efforts will multiply i have this i have this uh, you know i have this principle in life that if you don't give respect to your parents and you don't appreciate your teachers your hard work will never pay you might be studying 10 12 hours a day but if you don't respect your parents and you don't respect your teachers you will not get the desired output because somewhere the blessings of god will not fall upon you but if you do respect your parents you do respect your teachers your efforts will multiply their efforts their blessings towards you will ensure that if you put in x amount of effort the output is 5x 10x i hope you will uh, understand what i'm saying these kind of learnings come with experience so not you may not realize it now but uh, uh, if you can it will be a great thing always have a lot of respect uh, gratitude and uh, be loving towards your teachers and you will see that you will do better your teachers will take interest in you and once they take interest in you your success is bound to be there god bless you you are doing such great work lovely programs uh, very touching uh, uh, skits very touching uh, dance and uh, songs you have put in lot of effort some of you have even come to school and uh, i would really appreciate it and on behalf of all my teachers i want to thank you for this uh, lovely celebration that you have done today all the best indeed sir the contribution of our teachers shall never be unnoticed and shall ever be acknowledged thank you so much sir for enlightening us and taking the event to a whole new paradigm altogether thank you so much sir next we have moshumi sen of class 8b and sahili khatun of class 9s paying their respects to their teachers in form of charts the overtiring job that our teachers have done to educate us moreover to make us responsible citizens of the world is something that cannot be expressed in words and the countless memories of our school with our late founder principal madam administrator sir principal sir headmistress ma'am and of course our teachers will always cherish in our minds forever and ever after and their lessons will help us strive towards a better future so thank you shahili and moshumi for bringing out such a wonderful message through your charts thank you so much next we have a dance performance by the students of class 8 to class 12 as a tribute to their teachers
देना है एक बड़ा सा थैंक यू है सब कुछ टू वर्ड में रोज दिखाते जाए कुछ नया या दुनिया हाथों में रख दे थैंक्स सुबह हो या शाम चाहे जो भी हो काम होगा पहले बस तुम्हारा नाम थैंक्स मेरी थैंक्स हर पन्ने पे हो एक नई कहानी हर एल को हैप्पी हम करें हर बात की दे दे छूट हर दिन कोई तो फूट जो भी हो साथ ना छोड़ी थैंक्स थैंक्स गाते रहे हम चाहे खुशी हो या गम अपनी ये जन ना हो खत्म थैंक्स all the teachers we have met in this life a very happy teachers day from all of us and thank you for making us enabled shukriya thank you so much everyone for that wonderful performance now i would request everyone to kindly stand up for the school song Sionel Jose rightly said it is the teacher that makes the difference not the classroom it is due to immense devotion that convinces us deep down inside to observe our teachers as our parents and as the school our second home just like we cannot imo- imagine a world without oxygen a world without teachers would be no better than a desert as without a teacher like ramakanth achrekar the world the world would have missed a fantastic cricketer named sachin taldutkar without a teacher like mahadishi devendranath tagore the world would have never be able to meet, witness a legend like ravindranath tagore without a teacher like our founder principal madam mrs sheila chopra we were, we would have missed a place like st francis xavier school and without teacher like ours we would have never known who we are keeping this in mind once again i would love to give my dear teachers a heartfelt tribute for guiding us through the dark and showing us the right path thank you so much teachers for being the north star in our lives saying this i would love to conclude today's event by wishing all my dear teachers a very very happy teachers day thank you thank you asmit for nicely holding the entire event may god bless you once again wish you all teachers a very happy teachers day thank you bye bye